I uh, AK104 DD Hip Hop and R&B, your girl Kiki J, Street Swag Sunday. Today is about one of the newest players to hit the DF Dub with the newest team to hit the DF Dub. I want to welcome the Street Swag Sunday from the, e the WNBA Dallas Wings Odyssey Sims. newest team coming to the Triple D, the Dallas Wings, and uh, you know, you're from this area. So. Yes, I am. I'm originally from Irving, Texas, so I'm not too far from where we'll be playing at UTA, uh, College Park Center, so I'm excited um, just to have my friends and family um, to come watch me play. It's nothing like playing for the home team, you know what I'm saying, because you do have so many friends and family that get to come and right, uh, right. and see you uh, do your thing. Now, are you a little nervous? How, how rowdy is your is your family, though, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's just my two brothers, my mom and my dad. They're not too rowdy, you know, um, playing on the, the WNBA level. I can't hear them. I can't <laughs> see, you know, really where they sit. So it gives me an opportunity to just be myself versus when I was in high school, I heard my mama saying everything literally do this do that do that so <laughs> now when i got to college and now uh in the wnba i'm actually a little happy now you know i don't have to hear her All every right. two seconds <laughs> may 21st is our first official home game okay so we're trying to have everyone literally the whole dfw metroplex come out and support if you can go online get your tickets now because they're selling fast yes yes season tickets are available as well y'all gonna be playing over there at a uh, uta Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, McFarland? College Park Center. Okay, College Park Center right, is where it's going to be. Now, growing up in Texas, I'm sure, you know, of course, music uh, always a part of, of basketball. You know, sports and music seem to collide a lot. What were some of your favorite artists growing up? Um, I had a little bit of everyone. Um, Lil Wayne, um, man, like I said, Drake, Lil Boosie. I mean, I listen I listen to more rap. Um, mm -hmm. Not not to say I don't like R&B, yeah. but just as a kid, uh, Aaliyah, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I like old school and I like new school, but now I like a little more new school. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll be seeing Odyssey at the future concert. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at the Jambalaya. Yeah, on, 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 uh, on stage, <laughs> live with him. <laughs> Odyssey Sims, man, season's going to be kicking off in May. Yes. Um, Dallas Wings, they're going to be playing um, over at UTA. Season tickets are available. And in the meantime, you can uh, definitely, because you're on social media, right? Right. All right. Your, what's your favorite social media? On uh, Instagram and Twitter, follow me, lucky underscore lefty zero. And if you want to get season tickets to come watch us play, go to www.dallaswingsbasketball.com, click on tickets, and buy them as soon as you can because they are selling quick. Okay, I need to get my tickets too, man. Yes, hey, y'all make sure y'all go check her out, Dallas Wings. Finally, we got a WNBA team yes. here. I'm so excited. Y'all yes. make sure y'all check out Odyssey on the court now. Hey, I got more music coming up for you. Keep it locked right here at Street Swag Sunday on K104.
a certain individual, your LeBron James, your Michael Jordans, your Steph Curry's, where in my case, it's Odyssey Sims. When you're trying to get Odyssey Sims to that certain level and that certain maintenance of herself, so everything that we do is everything that she's weak on. Anything that she has a weakness on, we try to take it and just take it and spur it apart. Now that we tear it apart and, and, and spare it into different amounts, you know, we go back and we make it A+. Um, I had two workouts today. Um, this is my second workout. Just finished. Um, just came from K104. That was great. And um, just working out and getting ready for the season. Yeah. This workout today consists of agility, footwork, working on right hand, left hand, jumpers, um, stop and pop, a little bit of everything. My goals for this season is to leave my team to playoffs, of course, and try to get, an, um, get a WNBA championship. Um, the rest of the day, I have to go and talk to some college kids at Paul Quinn College. So I'm um, still busy, but um, I managed to still get my work done also. A typical day in the life of me um, would say waking up in the morning, eating, um, probably lounging around if I don't have practice, uh, working out, you know, just a regular day, nothing too major. Um, it's kind of boring, but that's me. Pick up basketball when I was like five or six. I have two older brothers, so when I was when my oldest brother was in high school, um, I was I was younger, so I used to always go to his practices, watch him play. So I kind of got bored. I didn't have nothing to do with a little girl. Um, I always been with my mom, so I pick up the basketball because I wanted to be like him. Since then, I haven't put it down. Um, it's kind of been my dream, obviously, to go to the WNBA, and I'm living my dream now. I'm originally from Irving, Texas. I went to MacArthur. Uh, I had to, then I went to Baylor University. I played with Brittany Griner. Y'all know who that is. Six eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was my teammate for three years, and then of course now I'm in the league, um, going on my third year coming up in May. Well, make sure that you're taking care of your business. You're a student, then an athlete. Not just an athlete. You're a student athlete. That's why you're in school. Doesn't matter what school you at, at all. You're still you're still in the college, right? You're still trying to be successful, right? Because basketball is important. Education is important. First and foremost, education is, is important. That's number one. So if you're not going to class, if you're hanging around the people who don't influence you to do better, then leave them alone. Whatever you're posting on social media, make sure that it's accessible or appropriate for your mama, your daddy, your guardian, and the older folks, also for the young ones. Technically, everybody is a role player. Technically, whether you're a star player, whether you're the worst player, whether you never get in, even if you don't get in, your role is to be as loud as you can and be the best teammate. And when it's a timeout, you make sure you're the first one on the court, chest bump, high five, all that. That's a role, right? Mm -hmm. Not everybody can play. I'm from here. <laughs> 